welcome to the ultimate guide to IELTS vocabulary instant upgrade. So in this video we will be understanding 60 alternative words for the most common 20 words. But before we get into the video if you are not subscribed to this channel kindly click on the subscribe button and anytime you need online assistance it is a paid assistance you can check the information in the description of this video we are left a whatsapp link you can click on the link send us a message we will do the needful. Alright without further delay let us straight away get right into the video. The very first common word is good. Avoid using these words uh, good, bad and all because there are better ways to express it. The three new words which are proper replacement for the word good is excellent, superb, outstanding. For example, instead of saying the meal was good, you can say the meal was excellent. Her performance in the exam was good, you can say her performance in the exam was superb. He gave a very good presentation at the conference instead of this, you can say he gave an outstanding presentation at the conference. So remember this new words, definitely there would be an instant upgrade in your vocabulary scores. The second word is the opposite of good is bad. Instead of using the word bad, you can use terrible, dreadful, atrocious. For example, the weather was bad during the trip instead of saying this you can say the weather was atrocious during the trip. His behavior at the party was bad, you can say his behavior at the party was dreadful. The food at the restaurant was very bad uh, instead of this you can say the food at the restaurant was terrible. Remember to make use of these three new alternatives for the word bad. The next word is big, big is a very common word but what if I tell you that there are three new alternatives for that namely enormous, gigantic, immense. For example, you can say the company made big profits, immense profits last year. The elephant in the zoo was very big, the elephant in the zoo was gigantic. They live in a big house on the hill, they live in an enormous house on the hill. The next word is the word small. You can use three new words namely, you can use tiny, minute and minuscule. For example, the room was small instead of that you can say the room was tiny, barely enough space for a bat. A small insect, a minute insect landed on my book. His handwriting was so small, his handwriting was so tiny or minuscule that it was hard to read. Remember these three new alternatives for the word small. The next word is happy. You have three new alternatives for example, elated, overjoyed and ecstatic. Instead of saying the word happy, you can say I was ecstatic when I received the job offer. She was overjoyed at the news of her promotion. He felt happy, he felt elated after winning the competition. The next word is sad. The three new words for the word sad is heartbroken, devastated, miserable. Instead of saying he was sad by the news of the accident, you can say he was devastated by the news of the accident. She felt sad after the breakup, she felt heartbroken after the breakup. The team was sad after losing the match, the team was feeling miserable after losing the final match. The next word is smart, instead of saying smart you can use the words brilliant, astute and intelligent. She is a smart businesswoman, she is an astute businesswoman. His solution to the problem was smart, his solution to the problem was brilliant. The child is incredibly smart, incredibly intelligent for his age. The next word is interesting. You can use fascinating, intriguing, captivating. For example, the documentary was absolutely interesting, the documentary was absolutely fascinating. The novel's plot was highly interesting, was highly intriguing. Intriguing is something that arouses the curiosity. The speaker gave an interesting lecture on the technology, the speaker gave a captivating lecture on the technology. The next word is important. Instead of saying important, you can use crucial vital and essential. It is important, it is crucial to follow the instructions carefully. Sleep is important, sleep is vital for maintaining good health. Learning English is important, is essential for international business. The next word is easy. Instead of saying easy, you can say effortless, simple, straightforward. The task was easy, the task was straightforward and did not take much time. The solution seemed easy, the solution seemed effortless once he explained it. The recipe is easy to follow, you can say the recipe is very simple to follow even for beginners. The next word is difficult, you can say challenging, tough, demanding. The exam was difficult, exam was quite challenging but I managed to complete it. It was a difficult decision, you can say it was a tough decision but the right one. The project was difficult, the project was demanding, requiring long hours of work. The next word is nice, instead of saying nice you can say pleasant, delightful, charming. We had a nice afternoon, 
at the park. We had a delightful afternoon at the park. His manners were very nice, were very pleasant. The small village was nice with its cobbled streets. The small village was charming with its cobbled streets. The next word is fast. You can say rapid, swift and speedy. He made a fast recovery. He made a rapid recovery after the surgery. The train is fast and efficient. The train is swift and efficient. The service was fast. The service was very speedy and we didn't have to wait long. The next word is slow. You can say sluggish. In some of the occurrences, you can say leisurely and unhurried. For example, the service at the restaurant was very slow. You can say the service at the restaurant was sluggish. They took a slow stroll, you can say they took a leisurely stroll. For every scenario this may not fit in. For this scenario leisurely is properly fit. They took a leisurely stroll through the garden. His pace was slow, his pace was unhurried, means you are not rushing, means you are going slow as he enjoyed the peaceful surroundings. The next word is rich, you can use wealthy, affluent and prosperous. The affluent neighborhood, instead of saying the rich neighborhood, you can say the affluent neighborhood was full of luxury homes. He is one of the richest people in the city, wealthiest people in the city. The country became so rich, the country became prosperous after years of economic growth. The next word is poor. Instead of saying poor, you can say impoverished, destitute, underprivileged. The charity helps poor people, poor families underprivileged families. The village was poor after the drought. The village was impoverished after the drought. He found himself very, very poor after losing the job. He found himself destitute after losing his job. The next word is the word beautiful. You can say stunning, gorgeous, breathtaking and many more. The view from the mountain top was very beautiful. The view from the mountain top was breathtaking. She looked beautiful. She looked gorgeous in a wedding dress. The sunset over the ocean was simply stunning. The next word is the word ugly. You can say hideous, unattractive, unsightly. The old building looked ugly, looked unsightly, means you cannot see it after years of neglect. The monster in the film was ugly, was hideous. The painting was rather ugly. You can see the painting was rather unattractive and didn't appeal to anyone. The next word is the word tired. You can say exhausted, fatigued or weary. After the hike, I felt completely tired, I felt completely exhausted. She was tired from working long hours. You can say she was fatigued from working long hours. The traveler was weary after a long day of exploring. The last word is the word angry. You can use furious, livid and irate. She was angry when she found out about the mistake. She was furious when she found out about the mistake. His parents were angry, his parents were livid when they discovered what he or she had done. The customer became very, very angry. The customer became irate after waiting for hours. I think that's all for today. I really hope this was it informative. If you want all these words in a PDF, do leave your comment in the comment section. We will do the need for you. With this, I'll park the video here. I really hope this was an informative. Like, share and subscribe and follow us for more.